An important thing remaining to discuss is how to know about the stability of a system using Bode plot and Nyquist plot. I will discuss here the method to conclude about system stability using both Bode plot and Nyquist plot in brief, so you can apply this to your own problems. To do this, I will employ this MIT OCW material, which is free for access to all. Now in case of Bode plot, after obtaining the Bode plots in order to determine stability, we first define uh, the gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency. So if you look at the gain plot, the point on the 0 dB line where the gain plot crosses is called the gain crossover frequency. So it is this point. While the point on phase plot where the plot crosses the minus 180 degree line, I repeat minus 180 degree line. This point is called phase crossover frequency. So this point is the phase crossover frequency and the gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency are in short abbreviated as omega GC and omega PC. Now if we extend a line like this at omega GC, the gain crossover frequency towards the phase plot till minus 180 degree line is met. So this measure between minus 180 degree line and the phase plot is the phase margin. So this distance gives the value of phase margin in degrees. Likewise, if a line is extended from omega PC, the phase crossover frequency towards gain plot, this is the line. The measure of this gap between 0 dB and the plot gives the value of gain margin. For the gain margin is measured positive below the 0 dB line and negative above it. While phase margin is measured positive above 180 degree line and negative below it. So the first case shown here is a stable since both of them the phase margin and the gain margin are positive while the second case has both gain margin and phase margin negative hence the system becomes unstable. One thing more to note here is that if gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequencies are equal that is omega GC becomes equal to omega PC then phase margin and gain margin will become zero and this will make the system marginally stable. Now in case of the Nyquist plot, after constructing Nyquist plot in order to determine stability, you will have to count the number of encirclements of the critical point minus 1. So this is the point where you will be looking for the encirclement, encirclement by the plot. Now if we assume that P is the number of poles of the system given as uh, for which the Nyquist plot was drawn, that, that is GSHS uh, on the right hand side of the plane which means that the poles will be having uh, the positive values of S and those poles will be lying on, lying on the right hand side of the Nyquist plane GSHS and let us say that N is the number of clockwise encirclements of the Nyquist diagram about the critical point minus 1 and then we define a term Z which is the number of closed loop poles in the right hand side of the poles, uh, right hand side of the plane. So let us take an example. Let's say we have a transfer function given as GSHS equal to S plus 2 divided by S plus 1 into S plus 3 into S plus 5. So there are three poles in this which are S equal to minus 1, minus 3 and minus 5. So all of these three poles will be lying on the uh, left side of the plane and thus the system does not have any pole on the right hand side. And let us assume that there was a term S minus 9 in the denominator. In that case, the fourth pole would have been S equal to uh, plus 9, which would have been lied on the right hand side of the plane. Now, let us take uh, two more examples where we will uh, try to understand the, uh, the encirclement. So this example shows no encirclement in the uh, about the point minus 1 while this example shows one encirclement. So the point if you start from the point omega equal to c omega equal to 0 and you keep on moving across along the plot then you'll find that there is an encirclement that happens about the point minus 1 and this encirclement is 1. So one encirclement is going to happen for this particular plot. 
while for this plot you will observe that there are two encirclements so if you start from this point go along the plot in this manner so suppose that you are standing at the point minus one so you observe this particular point to be moving two times 360 degrees so this becomes if you stand at this particular point and observe the point moving you will find that this point moves uh, 360 degrees from here to here then again a 360 degree from here to here. So this will make two encirclements about point minus one. So the condition is that we have a relation given as z equal to n plus p. So you'll find some books using suffix z plus and p plus. So they all mean the same. Now in case if the system is going to be stable, then z should be equal to zero that is n should be equal to minus p then only your system is going to be stable so if the gain of the transfer function is multiplied by the factor uh, let's say 1 upon gm and then is plotted on the plane the plot would have passed through this point that is it would have bring the plot to the verge of instability so this is the point where if the plot passes could make the system uh, marginally stable and beyond this point will make the system unstable. For phase margin it is the angle through which if the curve is rotated which is uh, this one here this will bring it to the verge of instability and thus this is the phase margin shown over here are four cases of uh, the Nyquist plot, in fact they are the polar plots from where the Nyquist plot can be drawn and they pertain to the stability analysis of the systems. So the first case shows the uh, type of plot for which the system will be stable and will not be having much transients while the second case is also a stable system but it has transients so you can look at the oscillatory response that it uh, shows the third one is a marginally stable case while the fourth shows an unstable situation where the time response of the system will be indefinitely rising monotonically increasing that is